Hi and welcome back to my channel. It is that time of year again where red and gold are the only colours that you need to know or even care about. There are lights, there are lanterns, there is a lot of spring cleaning going on and there are lots of tigers. Yep, you've guessed it, it is Chinese New Year or Lunar New Year and I'm about to head out to Chinatown to soak up the atmosphere and I'm going to sample some of the traditional snacks that are often eaten around this festival. I'm looking forward to having a little nibble on a love letter. Anyway, without further ado, let's head off to Chinatown. <laughs> Chinatown is a mixture of the old versus the new and the great thing about Chinatown is it has maintained a lot of its old buildings and shop houses as well as maintaining its cultural traditions. It's actually really busy, the atmosphere is buzzing and I'm looking forward to seeing all the lights when it gets dark in about half an hour's time. Lunar New Year is all about family and it's about family reuniting and wishing each other a prosperous, wealthy, healthy new year ahead. One tradition in Lunar New Year is for people to receive angbao, which are little red packets filled with money and it is given to the young children or at least those who are unmarried. Relatives give bundles of cash in these little red packets for prosperity. If you're unmarried and young, basically, you receive quite a lot of money at Lunar New Year. Brilliant. So red and gold signify good fortune in Chinese New Year and you will see loads of lanterns. And these emulate the full moon, but also symbolize hope. Oh, and also they scare away a beast that comes out at the start of New Year, apparently, to feed on people and animals. So that and the lion are believed to drive away bad luck and spirits. Singapore's famous artist Yip Yu Chong paints murals across many walls in Singapore, but most notably in Chinatown. It really does capture the artist's childhood memories and gives a sense of nostalgia to Chinatown and lets you imagine what time was like many, many years ago. Food is a central part to Singapore's culture and indeed in the culture of Chinese New Year. Many foods represent and symbolise certain things. Peanuts. Peanuts are a staple snack in Chinese New Year and apparently they symbolise longevity. Oranges. They symbolise gold and wealth. Love letters, here they are. Hello. So here is an array of Lunar New Year snacks that often traditionally people bring as offerings when they go and visit family or friends. So I'm about to go and sample a pineapple tart and a love letter. Oh, and a bakwa. So here I am at the bakwa store and I'm gonna just try um, some different flavors. There's honey, there's chili, there's signature. So I don't know, I'm gonna go for honey and chili. The moment of truth, here we go. Bakwa. So I didn't actually go for it because it looked a bit greasy. Um, so I sort of like have always walked past the stalls, but um, you know, eat like a local. Right, here we go. Oh my god, that is really good. You can really taste the barbecue flavour and it's really sweet. So flavoursome. Mm. Here is the love letter which I spoke about earlier and traditionally people used to write love letters to their loved ones and pop it inside um, and I think it's obviously quite sweet. I presume it is because sweet little love letters, right? So I might write a little love letter to my partner and it might say something like I love you so much but 
please stop being so camera shy. So let's try it. Mm. Sweet. It actually tastes like a wafer. It's really good. In fact, it tastes like a wafer I used to eat as a child, though I actually can't remember what it's called. Really nice. Mm. I've got quite a few. It's a lot of love letters to write. Another traditional snack. It's very noisy here. Another traditional snack is a pineapple tart. And obviously pineapples were seen as sweet and symbolically represented welcoming in the sweetness of life for the new year. So very sweet. It's really like chewy and it sort of tastes like a little bit like fruit jam. It's really good. Mm. And when day turned into night, Chinatown got decidedly busier. So there are 12 animals in the zodiac and this year is the year of the tiger, the water tiger. And that symbolizes strength and clearing away evil. So let's hope this year the tiger clears away COVID and we can all return to normal. Fingers crossed. So we're eating in an alleyway and the waitress kindly even brought out a table so that we could enjoy some food in this alleyway and the food's looking delicious so we're just going to tuck in and the atmosphere tonight has been fantastic and it's so nice to see everybody out despite the restrictions enjoying the Lunar New Year's Eve and I would just like to wish everybody Gongzi Fatai and I wish you all the best for the coming year.